that repetition of feet and being outside and moving and breathing hard literally transports me to a different place. Nothing else compares to that feeling of like, moving through space and time and getting to where you want to be in your own head. Sometimes when I start out, I just have all these negative thoughts about myself or my outlook on things. Something really special happens after like the third or fourth mile where I become a better version of myself. And I feel like I have some hope and I have the courage to have hope. I basically, since college, have been running pretty consistently for like five or six days a week. Running is really, I guess you could say it saved my life. I think it was only once I got into therapy when I was in my mid-20s that I realized that there is a name for this heavy blanket that I feel. And I am really uncomfortable with labels, but when I really understood the definition of depression, I thought, oh, that's me. And if I feel like I'm going into the hole, my shoes are always like where I can access them. Because I know if I can get out the door, I'm going to be better. My name is Erin McGrady, and my pronouns are she, her, hers. I currently live in Asheville, North Carolina. I've been here for six years. I was raised outside of uh, D.C., so moving to the South was a bit of a culture shock for me. Hey, y'all. Welcome. Come on in. What you see is what you get. This is the kitchen, the living room and the office all in one. <laughs> I'm a runner, writer, content creator, photographer, and uh, I spend half the year on the road with my wife, Caroline Watley. After being on the road for a couple months at a time, this feels like a mansion to us. Good thing we like to spend a lot of time together. <laughs> we were married um, in 2017. We got tattoos, because I could never remember that, and so we didn't get to update them, and I'm always like, okay, let me look at my wrist. <laughs> I left my teaching job that I had for 10 years, moved to Asheville. People thought we were moving too fast, but when you know, you know, and we knew. So yeah, we're just doing life together now. These are the first pictures when I got home and I, I guess I met my mom. And this is my mom here. She was in her early 30s when she and my dad adopted me. My adoption has been really hard for me for most of my life, not really knowing where I came from. I didn't understand that like I was here to stay. I really struggled in elementary school with having friends and feeling like I fit in. I did get bullied, but my dad very quickly, I guess, understood that like this tomboy thing in me could be cultivated for organized sports. And so he's taught me to throw a ball, kick a ball, and I loved it. Once I got to be like middle school and other kids filled out I was good at sports, um, that really just like opened the way for me and helped me socially with finding friends and beating back the depression. But that's the gift that my dad gave me. Luckily, Caroline has been really welcomed into my family. Um, when Caroline and I first got together, she had told me that her family was very religious and very traditional as far as their beliefs about being gay. And it's been a very hard process for me to realize that their beliefs make them incapable of even calling me family. But I do grieve for them. It's painful to see how painful it is for Aaron especially with all the stuff that she has to work on being adopted. I think I struggle with wondering if for as long as they're alive, if I will have to have that boundary um, where I basically can't have them in my life. Um, the only thing I can make sense of is that they're just so terribly afraid. But how do you allow that? Running is 
a medicine for us. We live in Asheville, but we also spend a lot of time on the road. I have the responsibility to pack in the van. And it's super small, so everything in the van has to have at least two purposes. We've been working for Dapper Q since 2017. We basically go into these different cities and create guides to help queer people access safe spaces. We'll kind of canvas the area for a minimum of 48 hours. What I love about Savannah is the live oak trees, the Spanish moss. It's just a beautiful city. We love to travel and as queer women, we know what it's like to be uncomfortable in a new place. We've had a couple of instances where we've decided not to hold hands because we did fear for our safety. The city guides we make for Dapper Q allow us to try to ease that fear for other queer travelers. Stepping into a queer space in a city like Savannah is a breath of fresh air where you can kind of let your guard down. You feel like you belong there. We mainly focus on the Southeast. We've done them for Amarillo, Texas, Cleveland, Ohio, Durham, Asheville. No one wants to go somewhere and have an unsafe time. There is still a need for these kinds of things to be made because we're just not there yet. I used to downplay a lot of Aaron's concerns and fears in going places. I think I probably overused benefit of the doubt. We've had the experience of feeling like we make other people uncomfortable. We're, we're sort of allowed into the space, but not really welcomed. It's a question for both of us all the time, if it's really because we're gay, or if it's really because we're a biracial couple, or if it's really because Aaron's Asian. I have kind of a new perception of how scary that can be. And I think about that a lot with the work that we do in trying to create resources for people that it is scary for them. I feel free when I'm outside and I'm in a beautiful place. And Caroline and I love to do that together. I love running with Erin. She's always doing something that I wouldn't expect. On a good day, I love to just be playful. We don't have to just run in a grid, or we don't have to run the same route every day. I've never taken the straight path in, in anything I've ever done. We're trying to be the best versions of ourselves and still do some good along the way. Our lives are beautiful, but there is some very real heart in it. And running definitely helps.